there, Donna here. I wanted to talk today a little bit about discouraged denture wearers. Now, if you've ever spoken to someone who wears dentures about their dentures and ask them about how they got used to them, they'll all likely tell you the same thing. It's a journey. And journey is a word that I hear all the time in the denture community. Yeah, that's a thing. And it is. From extractions to implants, alveoplasty to immediate dentures, all the way down the road to your permanent dentures, and even beyond that, there are a lot of things that have to happen along the way. So you might be asking, but Donna, what has to happen? Don't you just get the teeth and go about your life? Well, yeah, but no, but also yes. Um, here's an idea of what a typical denture journey could look like in a nutshell. Okay, you go to the dentist to get your consultation. All your teeth have to come out or some of your teeth have to come out, whatever, and you want to replace them with, with new teeth. Cool. So, the next time you go to the dentist, you have your extractions, you have your implanted posts. If you're getting implants, you have your alveoplasty and a jaw smoothing procedure all done in the same day. That's a lot to have to heal up from. After that, you have sore gums. Your immediate dentures get loose when all the swelling goes down while you heal. Things fit, then they don't fit, then they might fit again, then they don't fit the next day. So that's something to keep up with. Things are fine, then they aren't. Bone spurs can happen at any time because even though you had alveoplasty done on the day of your extractions, it's hard to get all the eeny beeny little pieces, even if you're a super pro dentist guy, girl, chick. Dude, whatever. Person. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you like it. On top of all of that, you have you have this extra mass in your mouth and you have to learn how to um, eat while your gums are healing and you have to learn how to speak again because the shape of the inside of your mouth has changed. So there are a lot of things that go into just the beginning of your denture journey. Okay, all the stuff you go through to better your health and your smile and your self-esteem can leave you feeling discouraged because it is a lot to go through all at one time, especially right at the beginning of the road there, right at the beginning. So, you know, it's tough. It really is. So if you get discouraged along the way, don't be too hard on yourself about it. I mean, I know I'm not. There are groups on Facebook that you can join. I'm a member of three of these groups. They help talk you through some of the issues that you're having. They're full of people that have been there, done that and can give you the advice to help get you through. So that's one route to go. Your dentist and his or her staff is always there for you to ask questions, for you to schedule extra appointments, for them to have another look at your mouth, for them to have another look at your denture, get adjustments, have relines, whatever needs to be done, when it needs to be done to make sure that you're moving forward on your journey instead of sliding back. So what are some of the things that I get discouraged about? Now, like I told you, I'm part of three different support groups on Facebook for denture wearers for those starting their journeys. And there are people in those groups that have been here and done this and have suggestions for things that I can do when it's not time for me to go and see my dentist or, um, or my uh, prosthodontist to address my issues myself. Like things happen in, the, in between the appointments. Okay, but... Um, these people are chomping away at steak and apples now with not even a second thought about it. They just eat and go. They speak and people understand them. Like, they're the gurus of, of aftermarket choppers. Now, for me, I'm pretty unflappable when it comes to this whole denture journey thing. I'm sure that I'm not the only one that's gone through this. I'm sure that someone's got an answer for me somewhere, and I will dig it up if I have to Google the internet all the way down to the bottom. I mean, that's that's just me, though. Um, I'm just so happy to have all of that pain and infection and the open holes and the the gross gone out of my mouth that you couldn't put a setback in front of me to discourage me from continuing on this journey. I'm never ever gonna just take my dentures out of my mouth, say fuck this shit, and throw them in the trash. That's just not gonna happen. I'm too damn happy to have them. And I'm gonna stay that way. That's a decision that I've made. Now, I understand that not everybody's capable of making that decision and sticking to it, I might even have my days in the future. I'm only two, well, the beginning of three weeks in. So, you know, it's hard to say what's going to happen between now and a year from now. But for right now, 
pry them from my cold, dead jaws. So there are a few things that it seems pretty common for folks to get discouraged about. Um, number one, fit issues. Dentures fit after extractions, but they're too big a week later. Well, yeah, that's actually normal, but that's something that lots of people get upset about. Like these dentures don't fit anymore and then they get an adjustment or they get a reline or something. And then all oh, these dentures don't fit anymore again. Well, yeah, your gums are healing. They're receding. You used to have teeth in there and your, your gums have to, have to, the bones have to heal up and the gums have to heal up and everything will close up, get smaller and shrink. So while all of this is happening, first of all, in the first week, you have swelling. The first week to two weeks, you have swelling. And that swelling is going down for, you know, the course of however long it takes for your mouth to heal from the trauma of the surgery that you've just had. Okay, so that's a thing. And that's a thing we all experience. So those immediate dentures, if you opt to go with those, those immediate dentures are made with that swelling in mind. So they will fit when you leave the dentist's office, but as you heal, they'll become loose. There are adhesives. There are uh, home reline kits. Um, you can schedule an appointment at your dentist to have your dentures adjusted or to have them relined, refit to the inside of your mouth. Um, or you can use products like Uline It uh, from any drugstore. I know a lot of people get it from Walmart or Denture Fit from the internet. It's not available in stores um, to adjust your fit between appointments if needed. Check with your dentist to see what he or she recommends. Maybe they know of something that works super duper awesome that none of us have ever heard about before. And when your dentist recommends this thing, please come to the Facebook group and tell us about it because just do it. <laughs> please come to the Facebook group and tell us about it. Another thing folks get upset about, and I got upset about this, so I'm going to go ahead and go back on what I said about being unflappable. I was pretty flappable about this. I'm so sick of liquid diet. By the time I was done with my liquid diet, I did not even want to look at another Ensure drink. Like the sight of the bottle made me want to gag. I had drank so many of them instead of eating regular food. And it's not even the matter for me of missing regular food so much because I can look at a cheeseburger at any given time and be like, ugh, God, no. There are just certain foods that I can't even look at anymore. But those Ensure drinks, and the thought of drinking one more damn smoothie or one more damn Ensure drink or one more glass of water to try and stay full so that I didn't feel empty, that was something that perturbed me quite a bit. Some folks still aren't able to chew regular food or even soft food after two, three weeks. Now, I'm chewing on regular food now. I was chewing on soft food last week. And let me tell you, every new thing I was able to eat, total win. I got happy. I called my husband at work. I had a banana. And he'd be like, hey, <laughs> like it was crazy to him, but that's a win for me. So, or I'd call him and be like, I had a cheeseburger and he would laugh at me. All right. You know, that's just, that's what it is. But there are some folks that can't do that at two weeks and can't do that at three weeks. And it's discouraging because after three weeks of not eating solid food, I'm pretty sure you're going to want some solid food. You can't suck down soup and mashed potatoes for the entire rest of your life. And when you feel like that's all you're going to be able to do for the rest of your life, I'm pretty sure that's going to make you really, really sad. So, um, that's something, it might be able to be fixed with an adjustment from your dentist's office to your dentures, but a lot of times it's just, it's the gums being slow to heal underneath and the pressure from chewing makes everything hurt. And a pain pill won't take care of it and, you know, the Aura Gel doesn't last long enough to, to get through a meal or whatever, or folks are just afraid of reopening those wounds. So that's something to, to work out for yourself to work away around. But that's the, the liquid diet thing pretty much gets all of us if we can't move past it in a hurry. Sore spots. Sore spots is a big one. Big. So the sore spots in your mouth, if you get them, are usually caused by an ill-fitting denture. And I know a lot of this comes back to your denture not fitting right, your denture not fitting right. Well, guess what? The whole first six months that you have it, there are very few times where your denture is actually going to fit right. And folks don't realize this going in because that's not necessarily what the dentist tells us during our consultation. They tell us, you know, oh, you'll be having frequent adjustments for the first six months. After six months, we'll look at 
installing your implanted denture, blah, 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 that kind of thing. But they don't tell us all the little crap that we're going to go through up to that point. So um, the sore spots usually come from an ill-fitting denture, either rubbing against your gums in a certain spot or rubbing against the inside of your cheek or the inside of your lip or something. And it causes like a blister um, and it hurts and it's awful. Um, so when you get the sore spots, I consider it to be a fit issue. So for me, when I get a sore spot, I'm calling my dentist's office and scheduling an appointment for adjustments or at the very least to have it looked at to make sure that it's not gotten infected. I mean, that's what I told the dentist's office, but really I'm, I'm looking for an adjustment or a reline or something because yeah, I can pretty much tell when something in my mouth is infected. I dealt with that for like 30 years. So yeah, I don't need a dentist to tell me when something in my face is infected. So if you're getting the, the sore spots, it's probably time for you to schedule an appointment. Another thing that um, seems to vex people quite often is the pain after extractions. Now, pain management can be tricky um, depending on how you take care of your wounds while they're healing. Keeping a clean mouth and clean dentures is going to be paramount to your gums healing. But you've got to know that every mouth is different, every person's situation is different, every person's biochemistry is different, and people heal at different rates. So while, you know, Sally Sue Johnson over here might be having her gums start to grow back over those open holes and eating solid food at, you know, four days, five days in, that doesn't mean that at two and a half weeks in, you're going to be at the same point that Sally Sue Johnson is. So, um, my best advice for this is to follow your dentist's instructions for your post-operative um, care and take your pain medicines the way that they're scheduled. Stay ahead of the pain and the pain won't be a problem. So what about you? Are you a denture wearer and got some kind of a gripe about your dentures? Is there something about them that just has bothered you frequently or over and over again or you know maybe all the time since day one? Let me know about it. I love to read and respond to your comments. Leave me a comment. Let me know. If you're not a denture wearer, um, you know, but you're thinking about getting them and that's what landed you at my channel in the first place. What do you think you'll struggle with? Again, leave me a comment. I would love, I would love to, to see what you have to say. So thank you so much for liking, commenting, and if you haven't already done so, go ahead and subscribe. Um, I will be back with another vlog tomorrow, but until then, be good to each other. Have a fantastic day and keep being awesome.